hello guys this is farjana welcome to my another quick tutorial in today's video i will show you how we can enable this kind of cookie notice bar and also i will show you how you can customize this text box color button color and all these default settings as per our need and for this tutorial i will use a free plugin and this plugin will work with any wordpress website so without any further ado let's get started first i am going to dashboard then going to plugins and add new plugins now searching for gdpr okay so here is the plugin gdpr cookie consent so now i'm going to install this one now going to activate okay so after activating this plugin from here we can go to the plugin settings page and before changing anything if we just have a look the website we can see here is the cookie bar is showing in the bottom area now from the settings page we can customize this cookie bar so now i'm going here so here we will find some general settings so enabling cookie bar by default this is on if we don't want to activate so that time we can make it off and here here is some settings so select the type of law by default most of the cases we use the first one and then here is auto hide cookie bar after delay so this cookie bar will be hide after delaying some time so by default this is no i am okay with it and auto hide cookie bar if the user is scrolls so when user is scroll down and cookie bar will be hide by default this is no and i also like to keep this as no because we need to keep it enable most of the time until user accept the cookie and finally update settings then going here here is some other option we need not to worry about all these we can keep as default settings then customize cookie bar so here here is the message if we check here we can see here is some text message so these are coming from here we can add our own text in this area and message heading for example if i type accept cookie and update settings now if i refresh we can see here is the title is showing and then here is cookie bar color by default this is white we can change the color to any color like blue or anything and text color we can make it to white and save changes now if we refresh so we can see this color is changing so in this way we can change all this color and font style to match with our website settings and then here is font style so from here we can also change the font family for this text and then show cookie bar as so here is three different options by default this is banner and we can also make it as pop up let's check it and save changes and now if we refresh so it's now working as a pop-up and the third one is widgets so if we save it and refresh the page so now it's showing as widgets in the left side and we can also make it to right side save changes and now if we refresh so now it's moving on the right side and then here is on load sticky on hide animate we can keep this as default and the next step is here is revisit content we can keep as default for this one then customize button so from here we can also customize the button text by default here is accept so we can change the text from here we can also change the button text color and we can also make this button as link only or by default this is button and then here is button background color by default this is green we can make it to any other color like black and now if we refresh 
so now it's black and then here is action close header okay so we can keep this as default we need not to worry about this and here is some more settings for others type of button if we use so here is accept all button here is reject button here is settings button cookie settings so here is cookie settings by default it's working as a link we can also make it as button and then read more link so if we want to use all these buttons we can also use that and we can also customize this button and here we will find some more short code for all these buttons so if we want to use any buttons to any other places we can also do that so simply we can copy this short code and paste there and also here is some advanced option reset all values we can reset from here and advanced script rendering okay i think the default settings is okay we need not to worry about all this okay so here is all for today if you think this tutorial adds some value to you please give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time and if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you and welcome to my next tutorial